Hello and welcome to Code Green Community. My name is Eric Stewart and this is an introduction to the Code Green Community homepage. The homepage is an area for members of Code Green Community to learn quickly the latest news and events going on in the community. Code Green Community is an open source website, meaning that all of our content is created by members. Even the directors are members as well as the people that run Code Green Community. Every member can contribute blogs, events, share news, create a group or join one already started in one of your hometowns, upload a photo, a video, or you can follow our blog talk radio or subscribe to our YouTube. You can even share our website on your Facebook if you have a Facebook account. Uh, we utilize a Ning social network and Ning is a great social network that allows you to even utilize your Facebook to start an account on Code Green Community a as a member. Um, one of the things that we do is all of our videos and most of our stuff is tagged. We try and tag all of our blogs and stuff just to kind of relate it to some of the permaculture flower domains that um, people are most interested in. So we have different domains like land, nature, stewardship, built environment. If you click these, you'll click on to videos that are in regards to those permaculture flower petals. Um, also we have work groups going on all throughout the Tampa Bay area. This is the main bioregional work group, but there's also smaller local town work groups that work within the local transition initiative that started in Tampa in your local region. The purpose of Code Green Community is kind is to organize and network and collaborate to start a transition movement within the Tampa Bay area. We have a lot of apps on our homepage. One of the most important ones is the Donate app. You can donate uh, any amount that you want by pushing this button, or you can subscribe and do a monthly uh, donation. Whatever you can afford, it's up to you. And periodically, we'll, we'll run specials where if you donate a certain amount, we'll send you something, or we'll send out a specific um, chip-in event where a project is going to be uh, crowdsourced instead of you know coming at, out of uh, one person's pocket everything can, can be crowdsourced through a community so we can get projects going really quickly um, and by giving to Code Green Community you're contributing to a movement that is organizing the local bi region of Tampa Bay to coordinate a localized shift in our economy towards a transition away from fossil fuels this is about an events, investment for the future we are the ones we've been waiting for. All the donations will be utilized to increase the effectiveness of our site and set up a future events and projects. We'll even help out people that are trying to start up projects in their town by hosting chip-ins for them and, and allocating funds. If it gets to that point, if we get big enough, we can actually accomplish that. There's power in numbers, even small numbers. And so this is our new share app you can submit a new share by pushing this right here or this is the top couple uh, new shares and so what you do is you click on the up button if you like that specific news item or if you don't like it you push it down and it'll add buttons it'll add points and you can kind of search um, you know what's the most popular or most what's the most recent and find out you know what people in the community are most interested as far as news wise and so this is one of our applications you can go up to this menu bar right here and we have the news share we have also the member map now this is a really powerful website and that's why sometimes it takes a while to load because there's so many applications but it's worth it. 
So this is Code Green Community's member map. This is a really powerful application. All the members have ability to click on this button either on the home page or in the member map app that we got to by going to this menu and then going down to member map. And they can push edit my location and what you can do is you can add your address. So for me I just put Moog and Grand Holiday Florida which is enough. You just put two street locations in your city and what state and it'll pop it in and that's it. And then I do a short profile uh, just put in my contact information and what I'm interested in and skills I have and you can put in whatever you want you it's up to you and the whole idea is that once you update that well once you update that you, you can find people in your local community and you can connect with them so I'm zooming in on moving grand and there I am that's where I, I live and right near me is uh, a member named Lux and another member named Sergey. And so I click on Sergey and it says Sergey and it has this picture and West Pasco Habitat for Humanity. And so I can push this and it will take me to Sergey's profile on Code Green Community. Every member has an individual profile that connects to all the stuff that they put onto code green community so each person's profile has you know uh, what what events they're going to what groups they're in where they interest it has um, here are the groups here are the events that he's going to so he posted an event he's hosting a movie on Madison like I said it's an open source website so everyone has the ability to post stuff so so Sergey posted an event that he is started in his town and so by doing this, having this member map, we can connect with people within our own local neighborhood. And so he represents Pas West Pasco Habitat for Humanity. He posts his number if you want to contact him. He's interested in meeting up and volunteering. He has various skills. He's uh, interested in, in grassroots community organizing. And he has a blog, St. Pete for Peace and, and West Pasco Habitat for uh, West Pasco Habitat. So I recently uh, posted him a gift. One of the neat things about the Ning website is you can post people gifts. So if they did something really nice for you, you can be nice back and send them a gift. And you can do that by either, you can also send them a message or you can share this member to another one of your friends or to uh, a different website. You can block messages if someone's really you know bugging you. I don't think anyone will do. And up here you can also give gifts. You can push this button right here and it will give you the option of giving a gift to someone that and there's diff all whole bunch of different gifts. And you can use credits which you have to pay money for or you can do free gifts that, you know, they have a couple of those. And it's just a nice way of kind of sharing your e uh achievements. So I gave out a couple of gifts to people that helped out at Perma Blitz or helped me by volunteering at events. And I periodically give them out. They're just kind of a way to create community. Um, the next thing I wanted to share with you is our mission. And so you can look at this menu and there's a way of contacting us. It has our email address and, and uh, this is the board of directors. Uh, this is a, a private group. Uh, but you can still see what's going on and then there's the steering group where members from across the Tampa Bay area talk to talk about where the direction they want Code Green community to go towards there's also the community treasury where we post everything where all of our money goes we're all transparent we try and be more transparent so tell us how we can be better transparent and we'll try and do that this is a community group that it's forming and it's organic so it's constantly growing and be becoming better uh, so this is the seven principles of transition 12 steps of transition the earth charter different opportunities for leadership objectives and actions so 
if you go to our mission, you know, you'll first get this, and it talks about the transition initiative and what we're doing. Um, hope is passion for what is possible. I think that quote kind of defines, you know, we're hoping to create a more sustainable community, and this is what we're striving for. And I and we all think it's possible, and that's why we're here. And so here's the steering group. Now this is a really important group. This is where all of the ideas of where Co Green Community as a bioregional group is is uh, heading. <clears throat> there are more localized groups. There's groups for the specific county of Hernando, Hillsborough, Pasco, and Pinellas. And within each one of those groups, there's subgroups and how to start up your own tr transition. There's kind of a primer on that. So there's groups in Plant City, Tampa. Here's a group, the Bridge of Tampa. That's a, a nonprofit group that works in Tampa, Tampa uh, City. Here's some groups in Pasco County, the Angeles up in Hudson, Newport Ritchie, a holiday transition, Hudson transition, and West Pasco Habitat for Humanity. Uh, there's another group in Pinellas. There's a Dunning group, a Clearwater group, Tarpon Springs, St. Petersburg. Um, then there's Transition Sarasota, a group down in Sarasota. This, this will send you to a different website, another Ning website, but for specifically Sarasota. But they still join our website and collaborate. And so on the steering group, we have leaders from across the Tampa Bay area that meet online. And we've all met each other in real life on several occasions. And so we just have some ideas, you know, for the upcoming Green Living Expo. Uh, Stacy had an idea about the Great Unleashing. And we listed the 12 steps and 7 principles. Uh, this discussion is about business sponsorship, uh, block talk radio. This is just where all of our ideas on how to move co-green community forward. And so we have all these different comments where people have posted a lot of stuff. So the steering group periodically determines stuff, um, but a lot of the times it organically grows on its own. Uh, a lot of the times a group will be formed like a, say a project and then the project kind of takes it where it needs to go uh, whatever occurs at these different projects they kind of specifically push that forward so the Tampa Bay movie night is something that we did last February we we hosted the movie home all across the Tampa Bay area using this group and a different website to collaborate and there's 30 pe members on this website and this is a map of all the different areas that we showed the movie home at and so by using the internet we can collaborate and interact really easily especially on this Ning website so the other thing is transparency we have this group called the community treasury where I post, uh, you know, who's donated, um, what's going on with the money that's been donated, you know, how much is there, where is it going. Um, this budget is going to periodically change. You know, th this is we're just starting off. We've raised, you know, fifty six ninety seven, and I think I need to update this. Um, but I want to update this as much as possible and keep it really current so that everything is transparent so you know exactly where the money goes and I already tell you where the money goes so you can see exactly where where your dollars go you know that it, there's no uh, item in here for a salary so all this is volunteer right now none of this money goes towards paying anyone uh, salary or either part-time or full-time it all goes towards the specific project either that you chipped in for or towards uh, maintenance of the website or adding on things to the website such as applications transparency is the key and the goal of all of this if you feel safe and you value code green community you know that your money is going towards something so, just moving on, 
back up to the R mission, you know, here are the seven principles. I'm not going to really discuss these right now, but th these are something that I think every member should at least take a look at to kind of get an idea of the transition initiative and where it came from and all the underlying things that work towards where we are now. Because a lot of us have met up several times, so we don't bring up certain principles and certain ideas over and over again. We just get down to what we're focused on at the moment. And so this is kind of a way to get up to speed with what the transition initiative is and how we're going about. So like this is the 12 principles of trans 12 steps of transition rather. And right now we're really at the the starting raising awareness level. We're really laying out the foundations to extend our network and then we're working towards a great unleashing for the Tampa Bay area. And what we like to do is really unleash all across the Tampa Bay area strong in St. Pete and in Tampa and in Clearwater, Pinellas area. And if we can do that as a, a collaborative online bioregional website, we could really make a profound difference in how our bioregion moves towards sustainable communities. So this is the Earth Charter. Um, this is something that transition initiatives really push just because it talks about the interconnectedness of our ecology and humanity and creating a culture of peace and I think that's the heart and, and soul of this this is about creation and not consumption we're about creating a new paradigm where nature our economy, ecology, all of them are intertwined and we're all uh, a greater community. So it's something that you should take a look at, it, read, and you know if you really like it or if you don't like it, you can comment at the very bottom. For me, I'm going to promote it and I'll just comment right here. Everyone has the opportunity to comment on anything in the website. So if you don't like it or if you want to add something, feel free to. This is all about using your, your freedom of speech to get the, get a, a free flow of ideas and information out of everybody. So this is objective in actions of Code Green Community. This was something that was um, put together in June of 2010. Uh, some leadership opportunities that we still need are like directors to help uh, direct Co Green community. Stacy recently has really uh, stepped up and has helped me out a lot on this website and has been adding a lot of content. Like if we had three or four other people adding a lot more content to our website, it could grow exponentially. Because the more content we have, the more members we usually get. So the purpose of our work is to organize a community from the grassroots level towards creating an energy descent plan for the local community of Tampa Bay area and the surrounding bioregion. This is an intentional goal. The goal can be expanded upon first with success in the Tampa Bay area. Our goal is to generate 15% of the population of Tampa Bay area, roughly total 3, uh, 3 million, which would total 450,000 people to individual action concerning climate change and peak oil. So really, we're asking to awaken the people and to get them to work towards or think about or be aware of climate change and peak oil. And if we can really think about this in terms of friends that we have, right now we have 366 people in Code Green Community. So if those 360 people told three of their friends and then those people told three of their friends, we could get to this goal of 450,000 people really quickly. So using online media and being open source, we're hoping to really make a profound change in the Tampa Bay area by getting to this peak goal of 15% and hitting a peak tipping point where all of Tampa Bay area goes in on going green together and we create this energy descent plan that we can work towards. 
So our objective is to raise public awareness of the issues associated with climate change, the peaking of global oil supplies, and related economic instability. Well, we've created uh, working groups to consider all aspects of life our community needs to sustain itself and thrive in the face of these challenges. And I'll go more into that later on. So we have to dramatically reduce our carbon emissions, significantly increase our resilience, and greatly strengthen our local economy. We'll collaborate and coordinate with governments, agencies, organizations, and other groups at local, regional, national, and global levels as appropriate. We're really about being a catalyzing agent in the Tampa Bay area. We'll work with whatever people want to work with us on seeing this get out. So we'll provide programs and events such as talks, film screenings, demonstrations, fairs, education and training. Uh, have communications and publicity such as this website, uh, the blogs I create on Creative Loafing, media articles such as the YouTubes and the Blog Talk Radio. Uh, event calendars and posters. We want to have an opportunity for people to share advice, guidance, and training. And so that's why we have an open source website so anyone can give their information and we can really quickly share it. We want to provide an area for social events, entertainment, arts, food, fun. We want to collaborate and coordinate with other transition town initiatives such as Transition Sarasota and others working with the transition model at regional, national, and global levels. We want to work within our community and neighborhoods to create an energy descent action plan with relocalization projects. Energy descent action plan is a, something I'm going to get into in a, at a later YouTube. So these are some of the directors that we need to kind of help out and um, like I said I'm going to promote this and suggest oops spelling typo so like I said everyone has the opportunity to comment and they can promote so if you promote something it'll go farther up in the um, in the activity um, people will notice it more and people can find what you promoted and you know so the really good stuff that you like people will find so these are events you can check out this um, under the events we have events coordinating team uh, this is kind of working out we the the groups kind of been dead recently the ideal was for us to coordinate the events a little bit better because we have a lot of overlap but I think the overlap is a good thing. I think having stuff in Tampa Bay area on the same day, sometimes in Pinellas, sometimes in Pasco, and in Hillsboro, all at the same time, is a really good thing. That means we're growing and, and we're developing in our local areas what we need. So this is the events. There's several events going on right now. There's uh, 35 events going on in the next couple months. That's pretty hi when I first started you know I was the only one posting and now we have five or six people that post regularly different events so we get a lot of events every month so there's something going on every single weekend so do it do it yourself solar kitchens from Robert Segundo of uh, uh, Fire of Hope uh, introduction to transition Newport Ritchie that's uh, something that I'm hosting up here in Newport Ritchie uh, they have Tina and Nathan Levy. They're hosting backyard in their garden, these several workshops. Now we have other things that are going on, like Transition Sarasota is hosting a transition talk training. Just, uh, it's a collaborative way to share all these separate events that are going all throughout the Tampa Bay area. So just going back to the home page real quick. Here on the home page, you can quickly create an event by clicking it right, right here. So one of the important things that you should know is, uh, you know, if you're a group manager, 
how to utilize your group with web page so I'm gonna go back to the transition Newport Ritchie and if you decide you want to really host a, a group or start one up I'll, I'll usually generally move you up into a different role uh, the regular members just have um, certain roles that they can do uh, but if you start up a group you can edit stuff so you'll see this this button called edit and you can edit the HTML of everything you can everyone also also has the opportunity to ooh, why is it going there if you're within a group you can send a message to everyone in the group by clicking this button send message to group and this gives you an opportunity to send an email message to everyone's email account through Code Green Community. You can also invite people to your group, but they have to be friends of yours on the website, so you have to connect with them in your local area and add them as a friend. But you can also import people from your address book or enter email addresses or address book application or invite friends from within Code Green Community. So um, you can click on different people's profiles and they'll send you to their individual profile as well. And I really encourage more face-to-face -face meetings rather just than relying on this online. A lot of our meetings and, and ideas come from face-to-face -face meetings rather than utilizing the website actually. So when I originally started this group, this website, it was slowly getting built on. I've been adding stuff as I've gone along, just you know, being creative and, and figuring it out as I go along. So this is the community communication. There's a phone list and skill set. You can always find people if they post their phones online on Code Green Community really quickly, either by using the member map and clicking on them on the member map or by using this phone list and skill set list which I'll click on and show you real quickly what I did is I built in an application um, on Google that compiles you know a survey a form that you fill out and it compiles uh, a list and so here's a list of different members and you can quickly find you know um, different members from across the Tampa Bay area. You can find out what city they live in, um, you know, what their best days are to volunteer. And this kind of gives it a, you an idea of who's in your area. And you can find them quickly. So, um, you can also find all the different members. Like currently we have what's a grand total here 362 members and here are some of the featured members these are just members who have been on the longest and, and are very active I kinda post them up here so if new people come on they can connect with people that you know they can see are more active it's all about building an online community like we have a birthday section right here when there's a birthday I generally uh, say happy birthday to people and I encourage other people to too also, if you check the activity, you can read when people join. And so it says uh, these two new people joined today. So you can actually go to people's individual pages and say you want to comment on them. So this is Claudius. I'm going to add her as a friend because she just joined the network. In she just needs to be my friend so I find out she's from Plan C initiative I leave her a comment welcome to code oops welcome to code code green community and that sends a message to her and a comment on her wall So there's other ways of communicating within Code Green Community. If you've noticed, uh, on 
when you scroll down you have this little bar down here the SCISA bar it's an application that I added to Code Green Community it's something that through our donations we purchased this application and what it allows you to do is it allows you to instant message people so I can see that Claudia is actually on and I can instant message her and then it pops up also we have a chat room sometimes we'll periodically host a chat or uh, some online thing that we can do we also have a video chat we haven't really messed around with this video chat we need to kind of see if it works out for us maybe we can utilize our online video and microphone capabilities and have online discussions so I'm not gonna mess with that uh, this is our Facebook page you can like us on Facebook ah, see So Claudia had a question because she's a new member and I welcomed her and she had, she's starting an event and she had a question. I said, what what should I t say about event type? <laughs> so here are our YouTubes. We also have several YouTubes and this is our link to the different YouTubes that we have. So we have uh, YouTubes going back, you know, several years now. We bitch just been doing them so often I think we're up to like 34 YouTubes and you can share us you know you can use dig to dig us or buzz or tweet it's all about utilizing social media to get us code green community out to the area so this is the community announcements like this is uh, a 10, 10, 100, 1000 challenge that we're in. Um, this is announcement. We'll periodically announce stuff through this. Or, you know, if we really want you to check something out, we'll post it here. Or sporadically, if we have a sponsor that wants to post an announcement, we'll do one to kind of generate funds for Code Green community. So this is one is for... Uh, voting in the 10 100 1000 challenge we're right now in the ninth place we'd like to get to the first place but unfortunately our friends from the Roosevelt 2.0 are there <laughs> we'll have to slowly work our way back up we have I think it's now 53 days but we have 53 days to to get back up and get the word out about co green community so people will vote for us And so if you want to push this, say you're at the bottom of the page, you can push this arrow button and it'll scroll you back up to the very top where all of the menu bars are. So I'm just going to minimize this. But also, when you're text instant messaging, I'll show you this real quick. If you push the arrow button down here, you can go to the same page that they're looking at on the web or you can go to their profile or if you don't like that new message sound you can turn that off there too so I'm just gonna minimize her then under communication we also have blogs every member can post different blogs I think one of the most popular blogs we have going on is from Eric and Anna they're blogging about their 12 months of change so we have some featured blogs um, latest blog posts that people have posted and people blog on a really periodic basis I, it would really be awesome if every member could contribute and participate by blogging about what they're interested in and then by doing that we can all find out you know who you are and what all of us have in common it's how co community is formed by communication so the next thing we also have in this community communication is uh, the forms and this is really open just an open place to post you know different things um, so um, going on the next thing that we have are our different groups you can find groups 
in our, your local area using your menu bar up here or you can find specific groups there's all sorts of groups that different people have uh, started up here's a political action group uh, the different project groups um, you can search for groups we have over 67 different groups available in the Tampa Bay area and they range with memberships of anywhere from 41 people to 9 or 3 or just you know one person at the moment <laughs> probably one that I started off hoping that more people would join and so I broke up the different groups into different categories based upon what I really want to share with the community I'm really interested in permaculture so I have this section right here that I posted with the Co Green community website it's all about permaculture you can click here on the permaculture button itself and you can learn this is a direct uh, posting from the Wikipedia for permaculture so it has everything that you can find on Wikipedia about permaculture talks about the history and the different dynamics I'll let you read that but also you can click here for all the different videos about permaculture like I said we tag everything and when things are tagged as permaculture they show up and you can search for videos tagged as permaculture. So we have over 23 videos all about permaculture. And most of them are on the YouTube videos are ones that are locally created. All of our YouTube videos are locally created, but we also have videos from other areas. And so the permaculture is divided up into the permaculture flower. Um, it also talks a little bit more about what is permaculture. And Marie Nelson actually wrote this to up. So, um, this is, I think, about financial permaculture. But, anyways, uh, you can look underneath here, and every petal is representative lay on nature and stewardship, uh, built environment, tools and technology culture and education, health and spiritual well-being, financial and economics, and community governance. So you can click on this and you can find out, you know, certain permaculture elements about financial and economics and you can learn about that. And so it's broken up, you know, what does it mean, you know, local and regional currencies, carpooling, ethical investing, farmers markets, computer supported agriculture, and then we have a form in this group where you can post stuff that you find interesting about the local uh, area and about permaculture Re it's really about permaculture what's what have you found about financial and economics you can post it here on the permaculture flower and there's one for all of those and then these are individual groups on individual projects like we had the Tampa Bay movie group that I showed you earlier here's one on permablitz uh, there's another one on local Tampa Bay currency and so these are projects that are started up and are have grown and we've done over the past year or two and so here are some YouTubes of permablisses this is one that we did at my house here's another one at the Angelus so there's real live footage of YouTube of uh, permablisses and projects that we've done like I said it's all about transparency so you donate to Code Green Community, we'll transparently show you exactly where that money goes. So we can do this and we can set up projects all over Tampa Bay area using this process of open sourcing and collaborating on a large scale. So, you know, all these different groups and projects are connected to work groups. So as I showed you underneath the objectives and actions, one of the focuses of um, Code Green Community is to really think about every single aspect of the community and how it can transition away from fossil fuels. So this is some a Prezi that um, Don Hall created for Transition Sarasota. And in this Prezi, he talks about how the individual transition initiative hosts as a 
uh, start with a steering group. And as the steering group gets larger, there becomes a core group uh, transition people that start in their own local region, whether it up in Newport Ritchie with our five or six group uh, people that show up, or in St. Petersburg, or in Tampa. And so this core group meets, and in local work groups based upon health, um, based upon transportation, the built environment, inner transition, economy, energy, waste, arts and culture, food, and in a board of directors to kind of see that they're following the directive and the, and the, the purpose of Co Green Community. This is what that whole point of the board of directors up here. I'm a director on the the uh, Articles of Incorporation, and there's two other directors that direct Code Green Community. But we're always looking to add on more directors that really want to share and focus Code Green Community and make it the best that it can be. So these individual work groups are worked on. Um, and this is kind of intro to what the work groups look like and what the purpose is. And so you can go to different ones. I think the most established work group is our food work group. Um, we really focus on localizing the food. And there's a one more group that I added besides what Don Hall put together. Um, was the marketing group. I think it's really important that we market and create, you know, YouTubes and create uh flyers and all that sort of information in a group format. So anyways, this local food group, uh, there's 41 members and again, everyone can send a message to the entire group or if you comment down at the bottom, it everyone automatically follows an email format so they'll get an email that c someone commented on this wall. So it's a way of really selecting what you get. So if you're interested in food, you can go on this food work group and you can connect and, and keep connected through your email uh, about what's going on and get email updates. And so there's also a discussion forum. So like we, we started talking about uh, creating a green map. Stacy has been starting up local maps, which I'll show you in a little bit. And one of the things that we said is, well, why don't we compile with this product uh, that green map puts out it's an organization that's starting different maps that map out green locations like uh, green energy, green food. And so we built, uh, I put up this chip in which you can chip in and by donating to Code Green Community, you're donating towards a specific project by doing this chip in. So that money goes specifically to that project through the transparency of doing it this way. Um, but you can also use the donation buttons over here which are pop up all the time to either donate whatever amount that you want to give or you know do a monthly subscription to help Code Green community grow. And so the work groups are broken up and each work group kind of works on its own. But we're always looking for more people to join what they're interested in most, you know. If you're interested in arts and culture and economy, join both groups. P post your information. And then the whole idea is this is like the bioregional work group, but each town will eventually have its own uh, sub work group that's working on specifically that town. So this is the transition Newport Ritchie food work group. <coughs> so you can see that it works under the transition town Newport Ritchie. And so this is about focusing and organizing all these things. So by organizing ourselves locally and focusing on specific subjects and, and work groups, we, we hope to create a holistic uh, transition for our local communities away from fossil fuels. And we can have small groups of three, four, five, six people all working on different work groups, working with their original steering group that steers the entire transition group in that local area towards something that will transition away from
fossil fuels by creating an energy descent action plan, which in a further YouTube we'll talk more about. So one of the great things about Code Green Community is we're open source and we really try and focus on how to move forward um, uh, our online learning. So like right here we have different important links like edible landscaping. So say you want to join this local food group and you want you did a perma blitz and you now want to do some edible landscaping around your house. Well, you can go to online learning right here, go to edible gardening and you can find out more about, you know, edible landscaping and and learn about uh what you can grow in the Tampa Bay area. And so it's all about collaborative learning and we always, you know, we realize that there's workshops and stuff going on around the Tampa Bay area, but you're going to learn more in a workshop. So it's always, you know, better to go to a workshop and find out information there. But this is like a depository of free information found online already, but compiled for you so you don't have to go out and find it. And um, it's just useful information that uh, different community members want to post and put up here. And so by learning online through a community, we can learn about certain things like the crash course, a video series about um, peak oil, uh, the economy and the environment. Uh, this group is about community leadership and it talks about um, how you can learn online how to be a better leader for your community. And so, you know, project management, organizing the internet age the whole energy descent action plan, transition patterns, asset-based community development, all these sorts of things you, and other community members can post what they've learned and how they can help. And like I said, you can still, because this is a group, you can send a message to the group or you can comment at the bottom and that sends email to everybody. <coughs> so this online learning has all sorts of information that you can learn. Um, and then the community apps, like I showed you earlier, uh, there was a new share in the member map. We also have ideas. You can post your ideas if you have different ideas for the community, and community members can vote them up or down, or they can comment on them. Like this has three I three votes up that we need a children's and teen program. Um, then there's links. You can post links. I set up this as a form where you add the link into this form and then it gets generated in a document down below. So this is a collaborative way where anybody can add a link. So we have all these different links of really important stuff from around the Tampa Bay area. Another community map are uh, the maps. Uh, Stacy really has done a great job. She put together and assembled all these different maps of uh, Tampa Bay farmers markets, um, different men venues for our uh, movie night, uh, different food co-ops and community supported agriculture. Letting it load here. It's taking a little bit. But there are a lot of farmers markets throughout the Tampa Bay area. We have a great resource in, in localized farm. And um so really important thing is um the work group for transition marketing, it pretty much runs this page th for community media. If you check out the community media, we have a blog talk radio. Uh, this blog talk radio is an application that's been added to Code Green Community. And what it is, is it allows you to listen to all the blog talk radios that we posted in the past, and it lets you know about future blog talk radios. We host a blog talk radio on Wednesdays at 7 p.m., unless notified differently. 
So we've had different blog talks about the high speed rail, peak oil, uh, permaculture zone zero starts with you, uh, guys garden study groups, and we've been having a really good uh, following ship. I think a lot of people are really enjoying the blog talk. So if you want to add your ideas or or uh, if you want to come on and do an interview, you can join the development group which helps develop those. You can also add photos. This is all about you know community membership. So if you're if you want to participate and add your photos, there's different photos that different people have added: Audrey, Neil, Stacy, Linda Mink, myself. All of us add photos from around the Tampa Bay area of different sustainable projects that have been going on. It's all open source. Um, this is some creative loafing blogs. This uh, takes you to the green creative loafing blog where I, I post uh, different videos and stuff. Here's one about Code Green Community. I, I post on creative loafing as a uh, as an author. Most of it's about Code Green Community, but some of it's about peak oil and climate change and just what I've learned over the past two years of organizing. So this is our YouTube. We have, as I showed you before, down here at our bar, uh, we have a YouTube, and we have about 34 YouTubes, I believe. Um, you can also join our development group for that. We also have some Vimeo films, but not very many. And then we have this video function, where 195 videos, and some of them are on different subjects like transition towns and peak oil and then the different permaculture flowers but you could spend hours and hours and hours going through our videos and learn so much it's all about learning open source and learn and get everyone on the same page because some people have read 30 or 40 books and know so much more but by having these videos and online learning we can all collaborate and learn together and get to the same page and, uh, and start forming a vision for us creating a sustainable resilient and abundant Tampa Bay area using permaculture and transition towns and so this is the tour of trend of code green community and we hope you, you utilize this website and we hope you help it uh, grow by donating and by we hope that this website can make a, a real positive influence in the Tampa Bay area and, and push our our area towards a green future thank you and uh, I hope you enjoy the website